Winter squash. Winter squash. Winter squash. We grow them in Oregon. We eat them in school. We love to eat all kinds of winter squash. October and November are a couple of my favorite months of the year because there are always winter squash playing around the farm to harvest and cook. And it's the time of the year my cousin Cameron comes to visit me from New York. I'm Henry and that's my cousin Cameron. Today, we're cooking baked apples and squash. And we're making it with winter squash we harvested, butternut, acorn, delicata, and even the winter squash pumpkin. But today, we choose this one, the butternut. Squashes may taste different, but all winter squash have seeds. Seeds that need to be removed before you start to cook them. Cameron and I always tried to guess how many seeds are in a squash. My counting technique is foolproof and slippery. And the guesses are... That's odd, really odd. Time to bake some apples and squash. Step one, peel and cut the de-seeded winter squash. Be careful when cutting with your squash. The skin of the winter squash is thick, but that thick skin makes squash last a long time. So we can store it and eat it all year round. When you finish cutting two cups of squash, cut two cups of cored and peeled apples. Pour the squash and apples into a large mixing bowl. Add one tablespoon of oil, one tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and mix it all together. Spread it out on a baking sheet and in the oven it goes. Bake for 20 to 30 minutes or until the squash is soft. The baked apples and squash are ready to eat as a snack. Or, like Cameron and I are doing, with the whole meal of other organ foods we love to cook and eat. To learn more about winter squash, search Oregon Harvest for schools.